I'm Erin Conrad. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from Two Works For You. Tulsa coming together to remember the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. The 42nd annual Tulsa MLK parade lining the streets of downtown Tulsa at 11 a.m. this morning. This year, of course, looking a little different due to the pandemic. Only floats and vehicles were included, so there were no bands, precision drill teams, or even walkers in the parade. This year's theme, standing strong for justice, truth, and freedom. Well, a 24 year old man died after police shot him outside of a bar in Lawton early in the morning on Sunday. The Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation now investigating exactly what led up to that Lawton police officer shooting Zontarius Johnson. They were called there after to a bar check at the Lavish Lounge, Cl Lounge Club. Of course, we'll bring you updates as this story develops. Well, the Oklahoma National Guard in Washington, D.C. now to help keep the peace ahead of Wednesday's inauguration. Governor Kevin Stitt sending 400 service members to D.C. as threats of protests loom. The deadly Capitol riot on January 6th, not even two weeks behind us now. 25,000 National Guard troops from 43 states are in D.C. to protect the nation's capital as President-elect Joe Biden is sworn in. Now let's get a quick check the forecast. Hi Aaron. today right around 60 degrees and gusty southwesterly winds up to around 25 to maybe 30 miles per hour and then for tomorrow behind a dry cold front cooler into the upper 40s. We're back to the 50s to right around 60 degrees beginning on Wednesday. Slight chance of a few rain showers for Friday and Saturday. It looks like the best chance for rain will come in on Sunday and Monday. As of now the chance at around 30 percent with morning lows down in to the 20s and 30s. Aaron. All right. Thank you, Brandon. That's a look at some of the stories making headlines today. I'm Erin Conrad. Two works for you.